everyone, it's Tony George along with uh, ex-USC quarterback Sean Salisbury. We're talking Big Ten football, we're talking Wisconsin, and we're talking Purdue. But I'd be remiss in my duties if I did not ask the host of the Sean Salisbury Show, found on iHeartRadio each and every day, best sports talk show in the country, about his alma mater where he played quarterback. Uh, USC, real quick, um, headed uh, to Notre Dame, uh, seven-point underdog. Sean, uh, you like your Trojans' chances this weekend at all? Yeah, I don't think, you know, I don't look at Notre Dame as a world beater this year, Tony. I don't know. Right. They find ways to win. Uh, Brian Kelly's a hell of a coach. I don't trust my team either. And over the course of five years, when I bet on the Trojans, they have dist- if I bet the Trojans my whole life, I'd get out of the gambling business. Because I bet with my heart, not my head, right? So, yes, I'm taking USC. Tony, have you been to a game in South Bend? Yes, I have. Have you been? Okay, so you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. If you hate Notre Dame and hate Southern Cal, you still got to go to this game. While the Coliseum's great, the game in South Bend is just different. I remember we were getting uh, getting ready to play them, Tony, and the intensity of the rivalry. And uh, while UCLA is a big rival for us, I felt the national rivalry with Notre Dame was always bigger. And so Ted yeah. Toner is addressing us before the game. He says, I got a guest speaker. And all of a sudden in comes watch walking in coach John McKay. And your oh, eyes wow. get big. It's like, oh, this is John McKay, right? And he said, I don't care about other rivals. He goes, I don't care about your play in the NFL. If you play in a championship game there, he goes, you will never remember a game more than this one today, meaning the SC Notre Dame game. And he's right. The just the yeah. venue, the the fall, the leaves change and touchdown Jesus. And it was in South Bend, and it was like, whoa. And he's right. So that one, it's a great rivalry. You know, Tony, the thing that bothers me the most about it is that I didn't even – I forgot this week. That's why – that's my point about neither team. Now, Notre Dame's better than we are, but we can beat him because we got some pretty good offensive players and, you know, our our wide receiver. We can score points, right, when we're right. Yeah. But physically, I don't know where we are. That's why the, you you spoke about it at the Miami and the college football. I'm still trying to figure out what our identity is in, in, at, at Southern Cal this year. Yeah. But, Tony, think about it. When, this is one of the biggest and best college football rivalries in the world, right? Michigan, Ohio State, Army, Navy, Southern California, and Notre Dame. And here we are. And, oh, that's right. We play them this week is what I said to myself on Wednesday. I <laughs> talked about it on yeah. – th- it's it's true. And, I, yeah. and, it's, and it's, it's, it, I'm, I'm actually ashamed to admit it, but it's true. So there's no buzz. And not that that means it's not going to be a great game, but this game should always be, oh, my gosh, right? And here we right. are, dogs. And I don't care about the point spread, but I, I guess I wish there was more buzz. And it's sad that even some of us are like, oh, that's right, this is Southern Cal Notre Dame week. So hopefully it'll turn out to be a better game than how we're feeling about it pre, because I yeah. want this game to always matter. And it yeah. does matter for coaches and recruits. But it, right now it isn't that big on the national stage. And I think, When you're talking about a game like Wisconsin and Purdue, which we're going to hit, being somewhat bigger on on what's going on for the betters, it's like, what? And here's where we are, man, and it's a bummer for Southern Cal. But it's a great rivalry. It's something that everybody's got to go. Go see a game in South Bend if you haven't. In 2000, Nebraska played Notre Dame out there, and I went out there. Eric Crouch was our quarterback the year he won the Heisman Trophy. This was Frank Solich's last year. Right. And we beat them in overtime, and three quarters of the stadium was red. We flew, I flew in there with some friends, and we had a great time. But yeah, it, it's one of the venues. You need to go to Fenway Park, you need to go to Wrigley. You, you, you know, you need to go to LSU for a night game in the SEC. Amen. You need to go to Happy Valley. Um, I've been to all those places I've just mentioned, by the way. Bucket list. I went to the old Yankee Stadium before they had the new one the last year, before they tore it down. So there's just some things you have to do. And uh, it takes on a whole new meeting uh, when you're talking Notre Dame football. And uh, especially this is one of these games. I'm going to watch it. I don't have any skin in it. Of course. I'm gonna, I don't have any skin in it. I don't want to bet it. If I bet it, I bet Notre Dame until, until USC forms, as you mentioned, some sort of identity and some sort of consistency, you know, um, but I'm going to watch it because it's USC, Notre Dame, and I'm an old school guy. You and I are not the same. Age. And I grew up with it, like Oklahoma, Nebraska, when that rivalry went down the crapper when we left the conference, that was just, 
that that sickened me because yeah, I, we should be watching that on Thanksgiving weekend. Yes, I'm with you, Tony, every, all the time. Tear, every, tear away every, jerseys, Johnny Rogers yep. and Greg Pruitt. I'm with you, brother. Yeah, all day, exactly. Every day. Yes, Jack Jack Mildred and Jerry Jack Taggy. Mildred. Oh yeah, Taggy <laughs> number seventeen, Mildred number eleven. Come on, brother. Yeah. I know the, the, the jersey numbers. And and Johnny yeah. Rogers and Greg Fruit would have like 12, 15 jerseys on the side because they'd be stepping right. through the tearaways. I miss those yep. days, brother. I do. That yeah. was Notre, that was Oklahoma and Nebraska at its finest. And yes, it's it never was. been that good since. Agreed. I'm yeah. with you. I still remember 014, Jeff Kenny playing running back there behind Taggy and Wada. And he ended up going and playing for, I think, Kansas City and nope. Miami in the I got NFL. A name for you out of the, I got a name for you that you'll remember as an old school guy that most won't. You win a lot of sports quizzes with this one. Maury yeah. Dam Kroger, running back oh my Nebraska. God. Maury Dam Kroger. There you go, brother. <laughs> You're going old yeah. school, baby. Try, try, to, try to top that one, okay? There you no, go. Oh, no. I got a lot of people. I got a lot of buddies back in Lincoln watching this, and they just fell in love with you, my friend. You're damn so, right, brother. There you go. There you go. You played the Jack Mildren. Said, you played the Jack Mildren oh. card. I love it. I love it. I know. It. Well, That's hey. my Jerry Taggy. I like it. Yeah, it's my guy. I got. Hey, guy I got. You know, yeah. I just we just aged ourselves. So, but that's okay. With I'll that kind of it. game, you know why I'm glad we aged ourselves. Because 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 some of those bastards out there don't get to see what we got to see, and that those Johnny yeah. Rogers, Greg Pruitt, those were games, man. That was yeah, fun to watch. Time. That's the way it's playing downhill on the doggone, you know, the crest in the middle of the field, the the big old and and they when they said downhill, they literally meant downhill. It was pretty awesome. Yeah, fun to watch. Oh man, well there we go, a little throwback, folks, and. Uh, uh, a good game this weekend, uh, Wisconsin taking on Purdue. Purdue, a three-and-a-half-point home dog here, Sean. Um, the total's 40-and-a-half, and you got a couple of really good defenses. Uh, Wisconsin, number two in yards allowed, and Purdue, uh, number uh, 14 right now in, in uh, yards allowed. And, and you saw Purdue's defense on display beating number two Iowa. Uh, when I was ranked number two and putting up some points there, Purdue, I like their coach. Um, I like their team. I'm not sold on Wisconsin uh, on the road. They are one and seven against the spread, Sean. Their last eight games, the Badgers are against teams with winning records. They just don't have that ability to put people away. And uh, they play in low scoring games, six of their last seven in Big Ten action have went under the total. They like to do the old Barry Alvarez, th speaking about old school names, the old Barry Alvarez uh, who went to school at Nebraska and played with Frank Solich, I might add, uh, right. for the Huskers. He took the Huskers recipe, the old Bob Devaney days, of just getting a bunch of beefy linemen and pounding the rock and just running the ball and playing good defense. And that still wins ball games despite how the game has evolved and Wisconsin still doing that. Um, Purdue... Uh, this is an interesting stat. Purdue is one of the top 11 teams in the country in throwing the ball. Wisconsin, number two in the country at stopping the pass, Sean. There's a lot of things that play in this one here. Your thoughts? Yeah, and I and, and at times Wisconsin can't throw up. I am always baffled by a program that is such a good program that it's like quarterbacks go there to digress as throwers as opposed to get better. And they get some good players. It's 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 really odd to me, Tony. It is. I, I, I don't get it. I know they run it and they focus on it, but it's like when I watch them, I think this passing game feels archaic to me, right? And yeah. Brom can coach it. I know Paul Chris can coach it. Both teams are well coached. Uh, the number is a concerning to me. I mean, the, the, the number that what you said, three and a half points. I do like the under. To me, the under is an easy pick. I think yeah. this is a yeah. 20 to 17, 21 17. <laughs> ground it out, try to kick field goals in the red zone, get a couple touchdowns. I don't think it's explosive offensively. And as a matter of fact, I don't think either. Drew Brees ain't playing in this one. Randy Wright ain't playing in this one, okay? Speaking yeah. of old school, Randy Wright. Yeah. So uh, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going on the under 40 and a half. I think we're going to get 37. And they may even struggle to get to that number. I like the under this. I don't think there's a lot of offense in this game, especially throwing the ball considering you mentioned one can throw it, one doesn't. I like a low-scoring game, and I like it to get under the number. 
Yeah, I, I'm going to agree with you here. We're going to have a consensus pick on the under 40 and a half, and I'll take Purdue, lean to Purdue, uh, home dog. I think the hook on the three with the three That's and a half is crucial in yeah. this game. Yep. So I think there's some value there. This is a live home dog, beat the number two team in the country. Whether they actually were the number two team in the country or not, with the nation's 119th ranked deep offense, I Iowa, can tell you that answer. That Hell no. Hell no, they weren't. Yeah. You and I both know yeah. it, okay? God bless them, but, but no, they weren't. It's always difficult to go into Iowa City and get a win. Dating back yeah. to the Hayden Friday, since we're doing the old throwback uh, Friday uh, references here. But I, I do think that uh, I, I'm i not sold on Wisconsin's quarterback all that, that much yet either. I just I think that Purdue might win this game outright. You could consider them a live dog. But uh, 14 to – I mean, th this thing could be 17, 14 all day long. I agree. I don't think we, I don't think anybody's going to be throwing haymakers in this one, folks. This is going to be your classic Big Ten, black and blue, smash them in the mouth battle. Uh, the guy that has the most attrition wins the game. And, right. and Brom can coach his boys up like that, too. Um, I yep, think he's 100%. got the better quarterback in this game. Yeah. Yep. So we're Deliver taking a couple the under standing here. Yeah, a couple standing yeah. eight counts and win 21-17 and go home. That's exactly right. Yeah. I'm with you. We're going under the Big Ten battle between Wisconsin and Purdue. He is Sean Salisbury. Follow him at Sean Unfiltered on Twitter. And well, we don't want 21-17. I don't mean to interrupt. We don't want 21-17 because that's the over. We'd like 20-17. to 17. Well, 21-17 to 17 right. would what be? Well, we're still under there, right? 38. We're still under the number. Yeah. I'm losing my friggin' math. That's 38 points. I'm all – up so pardon my French so that I'm allowed to mouth it I'm just not going to say it right <laughs> yeah that's right yeah I don't well I don't, need, I don't need any I don't need an over on this but 21 17 still gets us under the 40 and a half that's what's going to be like I'm sure glad that that mathematics 101 class at USC educated Dude, John I, I, was, had the... I was an A student <laughs> as a math student but hey 21 and 17 equals 41 in my book well maybe not it equals 38 so there you go brother yeah I got too many games. Well, to think I always about. say, I, love it. I, I went to the University of Nebraska for six years, which is a, which is a four year university. I got a two year degree. So we're kind of in the same boat. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy you know, your weekend. I thought math was folks. a strong point for you and I. I thought math was a strong yeah. point for you and I. There you go. You got that right. Um, hey, folks, uh, be sure and get over to Docs. Take advantage of the free 60 bucks. Enjoy your Saturday college football.